your music, you kind of set out to bring about a global change with your music. That's something else, I think, that makes you stand out amongst all the sea of, sea of hip-hop artists now. But in the industry that's so bottom-line focused, how does that really affect you? Well, I mean, you know, I've, I've been blessed and I've been fortunate enough um, to, you know, have, to be in a great position financially where it's not about uh, whether if I sell a couple of million CDs or not, um, it won't uh, affect uh, my bank accounts, you know. And so that puts me in a position which, for the industry, it's more like I got to teach. And I want them to know that there's a place called Bombay, India. And this is what it sounds like. I want them to know there's a place called Nigeria. This is what it sounds like. I don't think God gave me all of this so that I keep on saying, give me more and give me more. And don't give nothing back. Because if I do that, then the music that I do won't be a legacy no more. You know what I'm saying? It's important that I do legacy. I was talking to Mary J. Blige. And when we did the song, uh, What About the Baby, on the album, she was like, you see, Clef? This is what they expect from us. When it's me and you, they expecting like us to say this, like someone. And so we're responsible for a lot of things that happen. You know what I'm saying? You're not afraid of uh, getting political, publicly with through you, through you, your music. Why? I mean, the thing about it is, I'm already from a third world country. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you could really do to me that hasn't been done. I ate dirt, red dirt before. I went to school on a donkey. Me and my dad, we cleaned shit out of toilet bowls. So, you know, my dad always said, it's either you stand for something or you stand for nothing. And it's not like, for me, I don't say I'm being political. I, say I'm, I said I'm always being social. Socially, there's something wrong in the community, and I feel it's our responsibilities to talk about it. Um, tell me about, is it Yele? Yes. And what, what, what its purpose is? Um, Yele was a foundation that I started in Haiti two and a half, three years ago. The purpose of Yele is to bring self-esteem back to Haitian kids. Um, proudly, today we have over 20,000 kids in school with scholarships, which is an incredible thing. And this is the kind of energy that we feel like the new Haiti you know the new the new breed of kids this is what they're looking for and a place where the forgotten city you know what i mean the forgotten place in the caribbean and when we came with yele kids was like oh people still remember us and uh and we target gang communities you know what i'm saying we go and i talk to gangs i've made truces you know what i'm saying and uh, i always say that yele is not a charity it's a movement of the people what does that word literally mean Yele means to scream, scream for freedom. Okay. Um, last night, I, I witnessed you bless some kids with a potential opportunity to intern at your studio in New York, yeah, right? Yeah, Platinum Sounds, yeah. Platinum Sounds. What moved you to do that? Well, I mean, those kids come from WAPS, yeah. you know, and they're from the hood, like I was from the hood. And the thing about it is that what I used to love, though, in the hood, and going to school, there was always one teacher. Her name was Miss Price. She would always take us out of the hood, and she would bring us to Manhattan and bring us to a restaurant, sit us down, have us eat. We was part of a poetry festival. And when we went back to the hood, it's like we felt like, holy crap, like there's so much more to the world than just the hood. And if we can expose each other the more you know what I'm saying we would stop banging and doing what we're doing so I was touched by those kids because I'm looking at these 16 17 18 they look like myself when I was their age so all I can remember is someone gave me an opportunity so I think a trip to New York them spending a week at Platinum Sound interning and working with the kids that we have you know they they when they get back home they're not going to be the same it's impossible because you, you also talked with them last night about um, alternatives and how showing kids alternatives can keep them, you know, away from a life of crime. What? How important is that to you 
right now and how important is that in, in hip hop right now? I mean really alternatives are very important, you know what I'm saying? Like um uh, I remember a couple a couple of weeks ago I was watching um Hip Hop versus America, you know. T I was on there, Nelly was on there, you know what I'm saying? And it was like I commended T I because what he said, you know, it's it's great that I'm doing this because if I'm not doing this, you don't know what I would be doing. And the thing about it is alternatives is important. Like not just saying alternative, but really doing alternative. You know, if something's going down in your country where you could find a billion dollars per month, you know, what I mean ten billion per month for a strategy for war, right? You have basic communities that you can't even go into because these communities have terrorized the whole entire neighborhood. But you can put ten bill towards going to Iraq. Then that's just telling you that maybe you don't care about really giving these kids alternatives. So I think that's something we all need to fight for and be like, yo, where's the alternatives for the people? You know what so what is your legacy? I mean, just universal peace. You know, that's the mission right there we're going for, universal peace. And your blogging contest, what's that about? want to do a, tell us about that. I mean, really, you know, we entered the, the, the era of, of um, the computer age. So I think that it's important that, you know, I believe in the American dream, right, because it got me there. So I'm giving away a car, one of my cars for my collection. The car is worth about $100,000. And we're going to do like a golden ticket with the Willy Wonka. So I'm telling bloggers, if y'all want to work for me, why Clef, go up and sign up. The same way, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could sign up for American Idol. You could sign up to work for Y Clef Jean. You know what I mean? And you get tickets for concerts. You know what I'm saying? And so it's almost like the way Google do their research. So I'm saying, yo, I need bloggers. Because you never know. Out of there, I might be like, okay, you know what? Ten of them kids might be so fascinated. I send them to my New York and out my, my New York office. You know what I'm saying? So that's the vibe. You know, you make money, social entrepreneurship. But you got to find a way to not only make money, but you're giving back while you're making. That's, that's the true essence. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.